a B expert told NBC affiliate, WBBH TV, that it is incredibly unusual to have bees washing up on the beach. He offered two possible reasons for this strange occurrence one, that the bees could have been affected by the nearby spraying of chemical pesticides, or two, that an overhead swarm simply became exhausted and flew into the water. Though the latter explanation is certainly possible, the former is far more likely, since the death of these bees is by no means an isolated occurrence, and the blame can be laid squarely at the door of chemical pesticides. This is how the spray kills the bees. Neonics attack the central nervous systems of insects, including bees, by binding to their enzyme nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. This excites their nerves, eventually paralyzing and killing them. As tragic as this is for the bees themselves, it also puts the very survival of humans at risk, since we are reliant on bees and other pollinators for much of our food production. According to the National Resources Defense Council, honey bees alone pollinate over $15 billion worth of U.S. food crops each year. While many activists are trying to turn the situation around with petitions to curtail the use of pesticides, Far bigger and more urgent steps need to be taken to save the bees. Though the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, has acknowledged the detrimental effects of the three most common types of neonics, clothanidin, the amethoxum, and dintelfuran, on bee populations, it has thus far refused to place restrictions on their use. As long as the EPA continues to greenlight the use of these dangerous chemicals, it will be almost impossible to win this important battle. Though we individually may not be able to affect national change, there are small changes each of us can make in our own home garden to create a welcoming and be friendly environment. After all, 300 million American gardens could provide a safe haven for billions of bees. Natural News contributed to this report. Its news exposed signing off.